it actually mostly gets soaked up Radiant by the creep wave. So Medusa, a little bit worse mid than she was previously, but still pretty good. LFY, not going to be a ranged support and a carry hero, but we are seeing a lot of attention paid to Okay, and a little bit of trouble. That is a well-timed bash from Mode. He does manage to get the heal off, but the cold feet proc, and that will be for getting his getting his soul sucked out of him right now. He's still doing a little bit better than Medusa in terms of CS. Maybe going for a bottle refill here, popping a clarity as well. Oscar still chilling. FY also level two, just running over towards mid, and I'm gonna miss another kill on Ox. Okay, wow, going off. Uh, all right, so AA just pulling. He's actually doing really well in terms of level. There's two kills on the, yeah, two kills onto the Omni Knight, adding up a little bit. And it looks like Beastmaster might be joining Omni as a dead off laner. There's one last tick of Maledict, and he's not even gonna make it to the shrine. Super big rotation down towards bottom. This is not being scouted by the Dire, so it's like RTK could be going down, and they are just gonna utilize the Kuna to kill him off. Holding on to the Laguna Blade, don't, they don't actually have mana for it right now. He gets a little bit of a mana refill off of the Mystic Snake. And not enough left for the tank for Super as RTK and after seeping in. Looks like Afu should be losing his life. Purification will end up being RTK. The top rune was a regen, but the Hawk is ready informing him that it's just an illusion waiting. Uh, the Shrine has already been used. The offlane Shrine is ready to go. There's going to be a roar popped off onto the Venge. Aggressive, he's really tanky, but still slowed down. Just gonna turn around and try and auto-attack Aku down. Knows that he can't actually escape. Actually goes for swap. One more auto-attack. Aggressive still on the run. Can they finish him off? They've got the vision from the Hawk trying to salve up inside of the trees, but it looks like he will still get auto-attacked down by the Beast Menace. Nice little play with the swap, however. And had he gotten a little bit more of that salve, he should have an Observer Ward or anything. There is a reasonably big Ancient stack. Looks like that's where FY was spending most of his time in the early stage of this game, but only the one point of switch up so far. Aggressive waiting for Apu on the high ground. One more auto attack is going to do it. So great patience from him, sitting right on top of the ward. F from BTJ over on this hill. Neither team confident to press up onto the high ground. They will just put down a ward. They see Ben splitting up from aggressive. Is he going to go for the swap out? Nope, just going to come chasing forward here and look for this kill. There is a sandstorm to drop the magic missile, and they will be able to burst FY on the side of the fight. Ice Blast getting dropped off. RTK arriving now. Will he be able to keep the Ventral Spirit alive? Does manage to drop off the repel, but it's a low level. Aggressive. One more auto attack going to do it. Off. He will finally drop, but just a two for one. And then coming in for the backstab. Might be able to burst down DDC, but he should be able to get off an Ice Blast at the very least. No, he doesn't stand up. It's only a Vortex. And now the Torrent Boat is actually going to connect onto the Luna. Super not tanky enough, the swap gonna drag him back in as well, and they grab two. They did end up taking the tower, Beastmaster gonna try and retreat into the tree line, blocking things up a little bit with the boar, but RTK has found him. Magic Missile flies out, Aggressive has another wave of terror in just a second as well, so juking should be very difficult, and with the Iron Talon on cooldown, it looks like Beastmaster just gonna accept his fate. They've also got a torrent where as the Void is gonna be going in for that more right-click focus. Yeah, the the it looks like this decision was only made recently. They are going to be able to get the X back onto the boat on the Beastmaster. Meanwhile, RTK dying on the bottom side of the map, and they get the roar. But one more X mark spot is going to bring the Beastmaster back to his death. Just hiding. To get the Chronosphere, who can he find? Junior had the death board ready to use as well, but a rare miss from FY. They are going to expend the Chronosphere just to find a single kill. Poor Fenrir will be brought down. Did he manage to do any shopping before he died? Looks like. The smoke from Vici. Oh, oh, they do still have this double damage. Double damage hates Medusa. Medusa Master gonna be a little bit of trouble. Does get caught out. Tries to get the draw off at the last moment. So. Wave and into Roshan they go. Chronosphere is still on cooldown for 10 seconds time. Is LFY gonna come in? I'd love to try and disrupt this. The nuke damage over on to FY, but super. Perhaps caught out now. Do they have the damage with the Maledict? Should be able to do it. The boat also flying in. Perhaps a little bit of an early ulti from RTK. They now manage to swap back onto Monet. Trying to jump forward, but it looks like aggressive should have another stun. Just a couple of seconds time. He gets brought back. Another jump. They've now got the Chrono Spear ready to go. Lena going to be respawning soon. And now they're going to drop off the Chrono onto two Medusa. Unable to get the ultimate off. Will not be able to protect the Ven. She does still have the Aegis backlines off the Getting controlled by FY, there is another X mark the spot ready to go. But RTK just burst into the face. DDC, nice little boost drop there. Getting some extra mana to continue this fight as now the Medusa ult comes in. 
They have to be able to focus down onto the Vengeful Spirit. Doesn't have the Aegis this time around. Will not be able to pop those 17 wand charges. And Freeze may be also in some trouble. They've got the Chainstone with the Cold Feet. Will he be able to escape? He's still got a decent amount of pool. Wand charges helping to keep him alive, but with no backup from his team, it looks like Freeze should just be brought down. Monet even getting involved here. Finishes off the last auto attack to grab that kill, and that will be a mega kill streak for him. Lena having the Bloodstone gets that fast to the face of the earth. As Vichy J. We're just trying to see some of the problems that they have with these with these team fights. I guess they, they kind of they blew all their spells at the beginning of the fight and then just didn't have Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Monet jumping sideways, they're aggressive. Running in, but maybe just gonna get bursted here. There's the Laguna Blade. His team not really ready to defend him. They will be able to get their repel off, but Monet will not be denied. Jumps forward. Fenrir are going to drop off the board. Nice and shiny with the frog, but Super does manage to interrupt that. Will loot the Sand King. I think RTK might be the target. Ice Blast is going to run back into it. Looks like maybe not. Does he actually have the burst damage to finish off the auto attack? Will be enough. Super more than enough. More than enough could end up being essential. I suppose she'll get the repel for the most part. Venge is going to be buying a heaven top of it. Looking forward, gonna try and find Afu. We'll be able to swap him back into the X Marks the spot. Still coming in from FY as well. It will be a nice, easy pickoff. However, on the top side of the map, they're moving in to try and take down this tier 2 tower. Mass TP's coming in. Can they catch Super? They actually managed to get off the X Marks the spot, but they have some detection. There is a dust from FY. Super just standing his ground. Gonna try and fight. Get his auto attacks off, but looks like the Stone Gigas will be enough to drive him away. They've also got the Ventral Spirit rotating around the corner. Lena will be able to deny herself with the Bloodstone, but it looks like Beastmaster might not be quite so lucky. That's just going to be some bonus value on the Mystic Snake as he summons up the Hawk, summons up the Boar, trying to juke his way through the trees, but he can be slowed down by the Omni Knight Aura, and in the end it will be aggressive. K also coming into Vision Net, but they are a little bit split up and super continuing to push out the bottom lane the time being. They do jump in, they're actually focusing onto the Hunka. They've also got the swap out. Looks like they will be okay. The Deuce are getting her ultimate off. Can fight this, but they've fought down two aggressive already dead. FY also gone. RTK drops very low. Will get purged up. Managed to get off the repel, but looks like he can get auto attack down. They lose the position three and position four. But now the Medusa being focused, just getting bashed up. The cold feet also looking like it might end up procking Monet, unwilling to use yet another defusal charge for this. And I think he's made the right decision. They should be able to get both of these kills without too many problems. The coconut and the mystic snake both bouncing around, but you know, jumping forward gets that bash freeze. He's super immobile and just doesn't have the damage to find any of these kills. His mana has run low, and with that, his life will run out as well. LFY find a 5-2 team fight. Great. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has FY been FY also may be in some trouble. One last defusal charge. Mone is going to help. I foresaw your death the moment you were born. Over the top of that cask are about it. So they're removing a ton of control factors from... Yeah, like picking up these, these spears. Venry are getting caught out here. This four, not in a great position. But Monet, without the availability of the shrine, just can't really put on pressure the way that he would like. Ends up really slowing down your lineup because you're waiting for this Omni Knight to farm the Midas. They jump in, they will be able to go onto the Medusa. The roar is on cooldown for the time being. They will be able to get their repel off onto Freeze, so saving his mana pool for the time being. But Super still auto attacking away at the tier 3. We've got a little bit of sustain coming in from the Vlads, but the spin from Freeze helping a little bit. Beastmaster in some trouble. Can he get the well timed blink away? No, FY with the perfectly timed combo, but Beastmaster just so damn tanky. One more X Marks is going to drag him back, but they need to be careful about how far outside of the base they go here. This could just be a big chrono setup. It looks like in the end, a bunch of. A last striker or something like that. But I feel like the problem for Medusa at this point is not survivability. It's actually just being enough of a threat that the enemy team cares about you at all. You see these fights, they jump into the back lines. Jumping in on the defender, killing him off. FY's in some trouble. He's getting bashed up. Nice little sidestep there from Monet as well, as it looks like FY is not going to be able to escape into the base. The defusal charges have been flowing so far this game. Monet chewing through his entire defusal one, compromised the positioning on the enemy team. They will be able to pop the Lincolns on Monet, but Super will be able to press forward. 
not have the Aegis any longer as aggressive. He's gonna come in here and try and make a play. He's repelled up first, I will not be able to control him. And they get to swap off. Monet just gonna drop off the Chrono onto the Kanka. That will be defended a little bit with the Stone Gaze. The Ice Blast, however, is gonna catch onto a of an FY. It looks like they might both be brought down. Basic Void in big trouble. Can he get the time walk off? It looks like he might be able to. No, just finish off at the last possible moment. Super now charging forward. Who can they find? RTK and the Medusa both in some trouble. And Freeze very low on mana, so it does get swapped out defensively by Aggressive. We're staffing himself away to... Standing strong in the front lines, manages to auto attack through RTK. Fenrir also falls to the auto attack damage. FY will be next. Triple kill for Super. And that will go, but Super wants more. He wants this tier 3 tower. He can vision in front of the high ground. There is a glyph available for the tire side, but they're not going to pop it. Just letting Super grab that one for free. They can pave the way for the shrines and. With three buybacks still available, they're not going to even end up using them. Freeze is in big trouble, he's just getting auto attack down. The Ice Blast might connect, and Ice Force that from Aggressive going to get him a little bit further away, but Super will not be stopped. He's got the cheese, he popped it now, Aggressive in trouble. Nice repel from ROTK, he's going to save from the Light Strike Array, but Super will not be stopped. And that will be the GG called by VCJ. Uh, LFY looking very convincing. The offline Omni Knight just does not seem to be the way to go right now. Props to DDC for at least